It's always assumed that you'll be able to jump quickly between two points on a huge open map, because of course you would. Who in their right mind would walk, drive, or sail everywhere? In some games, fast travel is a process befitting the world, but that doesn't make it any less weird. Let's take a look at some of the weirdest methods of fast travel here. Fragile Jump, Death Stranding. Close your eyes. Now picture Amelie in her beach. You love her, right? You love her. Here it is. In Death Stranding, fast travel is made possible by teleportation, which isn't all that odd, it's the future after all. However, teleporting is done via an umbrella owned by Fragile. Following some events in Chapter 3, Sam unlocks the ability to fast travel to safe houses by simply looking at a wall where the umbrella hangs and hitting the prompt. Fragile will then jump in with her umbrella, she and Sam will touch heads, and off you go. That this isn't even remotely the weirdest thing in Death Stranding is an understatement. Fast Travel Board, Forza Horizon 3 and 4 The Forza Horizon series has always had an interesting fast travel system, but it got properly weird in Forza Horizon 3 and 4. In the third game, you could fast travel to festival points, but it costs money. Breaking various fast travel boards reduces this cost, though you could also fast travel to the nearest festival for free. The ability to fast travel anywhere requires unlocking a special ability. Forza Horizon 4 does pretty much the same thing, except you have various houses that can be fast traveled to at a price which, again, the fast travel boards will reduce. However, if you purchase the Fairlawn Manor for a measly 2 million credits, then you unlock the ability to fast travel anywhere. Convoluted? You bet. Stagway Stations, Hollow Knight. You could teleport from one place to another like your usual Metroidvania title, but Hollow Knight does one better. It has the last stag, an old but committed stag beetle that serves to transport the knight from one end of Hollow Nest to the other. Granted, you could use trams and even the Dream Gate, but what's not awesome about scurrying through dimly lit tunnels on the stag's back? It also doesn't hurt that his lore is both heartbreaking yet hopeful. Other Stalkers Stalker, Call of Pripyat the exclusion zone in Chernobyl is still as imposing as previous games, so you wouldn't really expect anything by way of camaraderie. As it turns out, other stalkers can be very helpful, offering to take you to other locations for a price. They may even help out if you're grievously injured, though traveling between different maps can be much costlier. It almost makes you forget all the bandits, mutants, and zombies that are also roaming about. Star World, Super Mario World. The Star World is where all the Star Roads converge, acting as a capable means of fast travel in Super Mario World. Upon accessing one of the many stars in the world map, you're transported to Star World. Locating the hidden key and exit in each level becomes necessary to open a path to the next star, and eventually to the special world. Considering that the Star Roads can be used to effectively jump straight to Bowser's Castle, skipping a huge chunk of the game in the process, they're well worth clearing. Flute and Flying Duck, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Link is no stranger to weird means of fast travel, and it all kind of started in A Link to the Past. The magical flute seemingly does nothing at first, until you play it in Kakariko Village in front of the bird statue. Said bird suddenly comes to life as the flying duck and will transport Link to set locations around the world. Don't get us wrong, it was cool at the time, but weird now with hindsight. Golden Frogs, The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass Case in point, in The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, Link can locate golden frogs at sea and use them for fast travel. Sorry, did we say locate? We actually mean shoot them with a cannon. If one has the cyclone slate, then said frog will hold up a symbol that is etched onto the slate. This can then be fast traveled to by cyclone, because of course. If a Link to the Paths method was weird, then this was straight up fever dream material. PSI, Teleport, Alpha, and Beta, Earthbound. When your protagonist figures out how to teleport from a monkey in the desert, you know things are about to get strange. What's even stranger is how PSI Teleport Alpha works. The player needs to get a running start and can only teleport at max speed. Bumping into anything will result in the teleport failing. 
PSI Teleport Beta is better in this regard since it only requires running in a circle, but that doesn't make it any less bizarre. Warp Zones, Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels In the first Super Mario Bros., the Warp Zone can be a boon, allowing players to skip a significant number of levels forward. The Lost Levels, however, had a different mindset. You will only have one pipe to choose from, and depending on which one you use, it's possible to warp back to a previous level. Even more hilarious is that World 9 is locked off when using a Warp Zone, forcing you to restart to complete the last level unless you played Super Mario All-Stars on the SNES and saved, in which case you've now lost access to World 9 permanently. Wormholes Don't Starve Don't Starve is about survival in its most basic form, so utilizing something like wormholes may sound odd at first. That is, until you learn that these are actually living holes, which the player can jump into and use for travel between specific points, at the cost of sanity, which seems fair. There are even sick wormholes, which outright die upon exiting them, reinforcing the fact that you're traveling through something that's alive. Access Points, near Automata Like many other games, fast travel isn't just immediately available in near Automata. It becomes available while progressing through the story, but you'll need to rely on access points, aka the decrepit vending machines used for saving. It's not overtly complicated, but using a broken down vending machine to teleport in the far flung future is still kind of trippy in a way. Delivery Invoices Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain The many uses that Kojima Productions fashioned for the cardboard box over the years is incredible indeed. In The Phantom Pain, it's possible to fast travel between different enemy bases by collecting delivery invoices. Upon doing so, one must then head up to a loading zone with a cardboard box while remaining undetected and wait until a truck picks them up. In terms of outlandish happenings, this probably ranks near the bottom, but it's still clever box usage all the same. Subway, Marvel Spider-Man When you think about it, Spider-Man taking the subway shouldn't be all that strange. After all, your friendly neighborhood web crawler can't be expected to swing everywhere, right? But what's especially humorous is that Spider-Man rides in the subway, just standing or sitting and checking messages en route to his destination and citizens treat it as the norm. Insomniac didn't have to spice up the loading screens for fast travel like this, but we're glad they did. And that wraps it up. If you like what we are doing, please consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to switch on the bell notification icon. That way you will never miss out on any of our videos.